Number 34. Another base conversion problem. Uh, everything here is in base 8 or in octal. So we have uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, base 8, minus 2, 1, 3, 4, base 8, minus 1, 3, 6, base 8. And the answer is also expressed in base 8. This, I thought, was an interesting problem because uh, we're dealing with subtraction here, uh, consecutive subtraction. And I want to note that subtraction as an operation is not associative, meaning we can't choose to subtract these two first and then subtract that number from this. We have to do it in the proper order from left to right. And that's actually something worth noting. The associative property, one of the properties of real numbers, in this case we're just dealing with natural numbers or positive integers. The associative property simply states that if we were to group the first two terms in a chain of this operation, subtraction in this case, we would get the same result no matter how we regroup them. So in, in the case of subtraction, this is not true. We say that subtraction does not follow the associative property, or the associative property does not apply to the operation of subtraction. All right. So we're dealing with base 8 in this problem. To quickly review number bases, uh, we have here we got the units place. This would be the 8 to the first power place, or the 8th place. Uh, this would be 8 squared place, or the 64 place. Uh, then we have 8 to the third, 8 to the fourth, and that's how the place value system works in base 8. Again, the digits that we use are only 0 through 7, a total of 8 digits. Let's go ahead and subtract the first two. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, minus 2, 1, 3, 4. All of this in base 8. We can subtract this column-wise the same way we would do it with uh, normal base 10 subtraction. Uh, that, now, that does mean that we can also borrow quantities over from the digit in the place to the left. We'll get to that when we encounter that problem. Here, we're, we're fine. Single digits, so you know, quantity of 5 minus a quantity of 4 will always be a quantity of 1. Likewise here, we have 3 minus 3, which is 0. 2 minus 1 gives us 1. And then here's kind of the first place we encounter a problem. So really we can just think of this entire problem as uh, 1, 1 minus 2. Again, everything here is in, in base 8. So remember that 1, 1 in base 8 is equivalent to a quantity of 8 plus a quantity of 1. So what we would traditionally think of as 9 uh, in base 10. So what we really have here is 9 minus 2, and that does give us 7, which is a digit that we can use. So, so that's your uh, difference between those first two in base 8. Okay, so we take this number now and subtract it from this remaining term. I guess I'll go ahead and do that in green here. Uh, we've got 7101 in base 8 minus... 1, 3, 6 in base 8. This is going to require some borrowing techniques. So to make that slightly simpler, let's make a list here of uh, quantities that are above 7 expressed in base 8. Let's make a short list. And you can do this mentally, of course. So again, if we were counting in base 8, after we reached the digit 7, we would have to go into 1, 0. So 8 in base 10 is 1, 0 in base 8. 9 is 1, 1. 10 is 1, 2. 11 is 1, 3. 12 is 1, 4. 13 is 1, 5. I don't think we need to go any higher than that. But that's just a short list of conversions, which is really going to help out when we uh, use the borrowing system in subtraction. 
So we have the quantity of 1 minus the quantity of 6. And let's think back to grade school here. We can't take 6 away from 1, so we're going to have to borrow from the digit to the left. We would normally borrow a quantity of 10 in base 10. Here we're going to borrow a quantity of 8. However, we can still express it in base 8 as this gets canceled out and becomes a 1, 1. Now that's a 1, 1 in base 8. Uh, so that's really representing a quantity of 9. Now, let's not forget here. We were attempting to borrow from this digit, although there's nothing there. So first, we need to borrow from this digit over here. Let's reduce this down to a 0. This then temporarily would become 1, 0. But since we borrowed over here, it then reduces to the, the next digit down. Now, 1, 0 in base 8 is 8. So this really becomes a 7 at the very end of the problem. Now we can do all the subtraction. We have uh, 9. Remember, this is a quantity of 9 minus 6. That gives you 3. We have 7 minus 3. That gives us 4. Okay, so right here we have to borrow again. Uh, we want to turn this digit to a 1, 0 or an 8. And then this reduces down to a 6. Uh, 8 minus 1 is 7. And then the 6 just kind of drops down into place. Total difference is uh, 6, 7, 4, 3 in base 8. And that's answer choice A.